All right, so the miniature versions of the Super S's came in today, the Super F. And you can see they're a little bit smaller. The S was uh, between a micro and a mini. The Super F's are basically a micro size. They are a micro size, but they have a geared setup still, which is really cool. The props just slide right on the shaft, I guess, here. And uh, they are not compatible with the old transmitters. This is the red one, the old version with the fast spinning, but it also doesn't bind with the new blue one as well. So they're on their own protocol here with this transmitter. So I'm gonna fly around the park here with a couple of them. Can you hold it for me? Oh, they come with a 280 milliamp battery and they have prop guards here. Can you see the prop guards there? They come with the prop guards on, but I took them off. I always do. Um, <clears throat> the black one is improved a little bit because you can see the lights from the top now, the little holes here. So from the bottom and the top, you can see the lights. So that's pretty good. A little improvement there. So let's see if we can get this bound up on a flat surface. Ah, okay. So it has three rates. One, two, three rates. This, this is the rates, this is the flips. And everything else is just basically standard, so. Can you see it good? So this is the high rates. Yeah, let's go down to low rate. This is the low rate yaw, mid rate yaw, high rate yaw. So it's really good, basically perfect. Got a bit of wind, it's kind of gusty a little bit here, you can see. It's doing pretty good in this wind though. Okay, so let's do a, this is a high rate funnel. Yeah, that's a good one. Basically, it's just a little miniature version of the Super S, the newer version. A little disappointing it's not on the same protocol, but it flies the same, basically, so... This gyro is actually really good in this wind, because it's, it's staying in position even with the wind. So this is improved gyro. The six axis is doing a really good job here. Because I've got... And it's actually pushing into the wind to keep this position. So I think these gyros are better than before. Weird, huh? Can you keep up with it? Hmm, nice. How's the black showing up? Should I do the white one? See, it's, it's interesting how the gyro's automatically fighting that wing if you hear it. No, wait, the gyro's out maybe now. Huh. I'm getting confused. We're on a slope here, so... We're not on a flat surface, so I'm confused. How's it up in the sky up there? Let's do a little test here. What happens when we, when it loses signal? So we're gonna give it some throttle here. Turn off now. One thought. Oh, it just instantly turns off. Will it rebind? It rebinds. Good, good. Okay. So let's see what the range is here. Um, can we see it down that way? Can you go go back that way? Oh. We're gonna see if we what kind of range we get. I haven't done any kind of antenna mods or anything, so let's see what kind of range we get. I don't know. I can't see with the dark background. I can't see it. 
Can you see it in the sun like that? Yeah. What about uh, 30 or 40 meters there? That's, that's plenty for a micro, I think. I'm at about 40 or 50 meters now. We can pull forward to come back here. Is it almost pull forward, pull forward, pull forward. Oh, what I realized. <laughs> I'm in low rates again, so I gotta go back to back to high rates. That was the problem. It was coming so slow because I was in low rates. So now we're at high rates. Okay, now now we're fast. There we go. Can you see it against the sun like that? White one. Yeah, let's let's try the white one. Okay. <coughs> surface here, I can't find the flat, flat surface. Okay, we're going into high. Oh, before I forget too, let's show some flips. So it gives a little bit of throttle first. Because I have the prop guards and the landing gear off, so it's going to be giving it some throttle first. Yeah, so it gives before and after it gives throttle. It keeps going up. <laughs> So you have to reduce the throttle with all the stuff off because this is in a lightest form. So, okay, so let's see what kind of. I, th I think after the flips, it goes back down into into a lower mode. I think. Yeah, I guess when I'm doing flips, it it takes it down. That's weird. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. You do the flips and it takes you down to lower rates. That is weird. So if you do a flip, you go down in rates. You lose your rates, your high rates. You have to go back into mid or high rates. Okay, so that's a nice funnel there. So let's see what kind of range we can get. Oh. So we're gonna go down this way, and this is a darker area. See if we can see what kind of range we can get here. And about 30, 40, 50, 60. Mm, I'm, I'm afraid to go any more. I'm at about 50 or 60 meters. So looks like the range is fine. I'm getting 50 or 60 at least, and it's, it wasn't dropping out. I can't see it that far, so. Yeah, I lose orientation with this little small size here. So. <clears throat> I actually have to cut throttle a little bit to get it to come back down. Because it just keeps going up. And then it goes back into low rates. That's weird. So if you do a flip, you have to go put it back into high rates. So flipping put you back into low rate. But the range seems to be pretty good. Can you even see it on the video? Mm. I I am still okay and I, I can't I mean I'm about to hit that tree over there and that's like 60 60 70 meters away so the range is pretty good surprisingly for this little micro. So yeah, and I wasn't losing 
anything. So we're this, the range is good on this one. You can go around the tree here. <laughs> So yeah, basically just a little miniature version of the Super S. This is great. Awesome. Maybe even better range than the Super S, at least for the beginning, like this, with all the stuff off of it. So this is stock battery, 280. So it's got basically the same rate. It's got the three rate with a nice, just about a perfect yaw rate. Not too much, not too little. There's the, there's the high rate yaw rate. So just right. We got good pitch here. You see the pitch now. It's kind of tricky on the slope to figure out which way. That's the higher pitch there. It's doing more to the right than the left because of the slope we've got here. But so. got some pretty good funnels there. And it will climb well in a funnel there. Let's see if it'll do uh, manual flip. Flip very well. So. Let's see if it's gonna do it. Hmm. Hmm. Not doing this right. Oh well. <laughs> what was that? I don't know what I did there. But it goes back into low rates again when you do flip. So back into high rates here again. Okay. Is there anything else I should be showing? That's it. That's it. That's good. I think we're good to go. So there it is. So a little one. Just a quick to show you the size difference again. size difference so this one's about 26 grams versus about 58 grams so just about half the weight and it looks almost exactly the same flies almost exactly the same so perfect all right RCO Taku <laughs>